come in, it's, it's kind of like going into somebody's house. I'm married to the other co-owner of Westtown Tavern, my husband, Drew. I think when we set out to open Westtown Tavern, Drew and I really wanted to open the place we wanted to go to. And so if that's, uh, if that's indicative of, of a, a neighborhood place, then, then that's great. We call our cuisine contemporary comfort food. We have those rich warming flavors that you really crave. Maybe something you love from childhood or maybe something you've just grown to love in a, as an adult, but with some contemporary flourishes, some contemporary garnishes that make it a little more interesting. And I think something that we really do well here is the pairing of wine and food. And with 30 wines by the glass, there's a lot to choose from. It's a wonderful feeling to be able to create something, have people enjoy it. There's really no bigger ego boost than you could have. And at the end of the day, I feel pretty darn lucky. So Kyler, you say that West Town always points you in the right direction. Tell us why you chose it. I love this place. It's really high-end food, but you know, without kind of the high-end food attitude, uh, they do a great job. They take some really normal dishes, pot roast, fried chicken, and they do something splendid with them. Um, it's really impressive. I always feel pretty comfortable when I go there, you know, and I don't think that it's a place that's at least it's not meant to be too intimidating. The owners are always there. They're always out talking to people. All the wait staff is, uh, you know, they're just nice general people. Well, they call the place a tavern. Is that a fair name for it? I think it is in the sense of what you want to describe as a tavern. Is a tavern a place where you have nice kind of comfort food and it's warm and it's comfortable uh, than it is. You know, if it's a place where you're going to go have get drunk with your buddies, maybe not so much. <laughs> well, Fez, you were actually caught off guard by the name. Yeah, it, it seemed uh, because of the name, you right. know, because of the word tavern, you know, I maybe immediately... Maybe the location as well. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. You know, I had one thing in mind, but it was actually a very pleasant surprise because the food was just so delicious and, uh, and there was a lot of, a lot of care put into the dishes right. that, you know, that the, the, the broth that the... Uh, that the, that the muscles were in, just you know, when the waitress came by and said, you know, would you like some bread for that? We're like, yes, yes, yes please, <laughs> we'd like some more bread to dip in the delicious broth. Nice. Now, would you call this a neighborhood place? Um, it, it, in, in the sense that it, it, because it was a corner store, mm -hmm. it did feel that way, but the food was a lot more elegant than I felt that it actually was going to be upon right. hearing the name, and so it, sure. was, it, was, it was a pleasant surprise, quite honestly. I couldn't agree more with both of you. It, it was distracting because I was expecting a tavern more like Vernon Tap, you know, <laughs> to, to, to kind of thing. and to walk in and, and see, uh, you know, the exposed brick and, you know, the, the uh, eclectic uh, artwork on the wall and all that and the, kind of all the uh, bar area was, was very majestic looking. So it was a kind of a tavernish, but I, I couldn't agree more that they take the average things and just jack, you know, kick it up a notch. Mm -hmm. and, What'd you have uh, to eat? I had the pork and the blueberry barbecue sauce mm -hmm. yeah. as an entree, and I wanted to be—I wanted to try something different. I mean, I love pot roast too, but I thought, well, let me <laughs> be a sport and, and try something different. It was outstanding, and uh, the squash that it was served with, and uh, the green beans were probably the best green beans I've ever had nice. in my life. I said I'd like to have an order for dessert if that was possible. <laughs> wow, green beans for dessert. Yeah. So they, <laughs> they really were. I mean, that, that's high praise. So, Kyler, I have to ask, you love the pot roast, but, I mean, I can make pot roast at home. Well, uh, this ruined pot roast for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no other pot roast I'm going to be able to have that's going to compare to this. But also things like fried chicken. I mean, what are they doing to the fried chicken where it turns it into that? I mean, it's, I've had fried chicken before. We all have. So it's a lot of those small little things. I don't know what uh, the owner, Susan Goss, is doing behind closed doors to these, these items, but uh, <laughs> well, she's I'm sure it's all in the up and up. But, you know, it's, but it was, uh, you pot know. Pot roast fantastic. Pot roast is amazing. <laughs> but they, they have, like, chips. I mean, they'll take, like, a chip, and they'll drip all kinds of different, you know, vinegar and some different things on there. And it's, to me, I was like, this is a 
This is a chip? When did this become a chip? Right. Tina, I was going to ask, uh, like, what kind of occasion would you go to this restaurant for? I thought it was, you know, more of a, a special occasion. Um, not, not an extremely special, uh, special occasion. Is but I thought, thing? like, you did, you know, where, you know, I might bring my family and some of my good friends sure. or, or meet up with some friends I haven't seen in a while mm -hmm. so that we, we can Is it enjoy. romantic? I think it could be romantic. Mm -hmm. So, Kyler, uh, this is a husband and wife operation with Susan in the kitchen and they have Drew up front, who actually does a great job with the wine list. Tell us a bit about the, uh, the drink menu. Uh, it, you know, they were able to pair, I thought, quite nicely. We had a couple of different things. You know, we had five people there this last time, and we had the duck, we had pork, we had the, the pork with the blueberry, which is excellent. Um, you know, we, I had the pot roast. What was great about, well, first of all, what was great about me being able to uh, to be a, a part of this was I had the chance and the opportunity at Nay, it was the, the requirement to taste everyone's food, even the dessert. <laughs> um, Give me some of that. Uh, typically, <laughs> I, don't get, I don't get even close to the, the dessert, you know, with uh, my Well, that's my, my wife model my anyway. Yeah. If I can't try what you ordered, then why come with? Yeah. What do you think of the decor? Um, <laughs> I thought that the I thought that the wood uh, I thought that the wood and the high tin ceilings and stuff like that was really beautiful. The artwork was kind of repulsive Weird. to me. Um, really? I, I wanted that there was, was this painting strange. behind the bar that I just wanted to throw in a dumpster. No kidding. And, uh, I didn't even notice. It was, it, yeah, it was well. I mean, because you know we had to wait at the we sure. had to wait well, at the bar. What was well, so bad about this painting? The, the nudity and the rabbits. You didn't the notice the nudity yeah. and the rabbits? Wait a second. <laughs> you have a problem with nude rabbits? <laughs> the rabbits weren't nude. Oh, it okay. was the nudity with the rabbits. Oh, okay. well, that's different. I got stuck farther down the restaurant at the weird bride thing. At first, I thought it was child's artwork, but it, it was just, just creepy. very strange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kyler, you recommended West Town Tavern? Sum it up for us. Uh, naked rabbits aside, I thought this place <laughs> really, they, they do deliver great food at a reasonable price in a nice location. All right. Buzz? Um, I'm really looking forward to going back there in the dead of winter and enjoying that comfort food again. All right. I love that it. it was exactly like you said, uh, great food with no attitude. Well, you can sample the comfort food classics at Westtown Tavern, 1329 West Chicago Avenue, 312-666-6175. Open Monday through Saturday for dinner only. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $35.